Hi everybody, I'm SafeMan4202, and this is going to be a video on what the difference is between an IDC and an SLC. IDC stands for Initiating Device Circuit, and SLC stands for Signaling Line Circuit. So let's get started. So as you can see, the system is normal right now, and these are the IDCs on our conventional panel, okay? <clears throat> so, and what we're going to do is we're going to cause a system trouble, okay? And we're going to say we have a conventional system and it's on zone 2, okay? So as you can see, we have that trouble in zone 2, okay? So we hit acknowledge. Now it's telling you, now this could be anywhere in zone 2. Um, it might also matters on how big your zone is. So it could be, let's say we go, so I'm getting, I'm getting ahead for this detector. Say, okay, well, it's not this one, blah, blah, blah. You know, you check your wiring. Then after a certain amount of time, you go, okay, finally found it. It's this device. You know, you fix it. You fix what you got to do, you know, put whatever you got to put back on, and it works. And your trouble condition has gone away. But now let's say we're dealing with an addressable system. And, and you know, a convention can take up a lot of time to find out which device it was. So now let's say we have an addressable system and a smoke detector goes into trouble, okay? So, we come back to the panel, we're in zone 2, okay? We acknowledge our trouble. Now what you may have seen before in simplex systems is like M1-22, okay? The M stands for MACnet, the M1 stands for loop, so it's the first loop and the dash 22 is the 22nd device on the loop, okay? So let's say um, zone 2 is hooked up to a, the cafeteria and the gymnasium. I'm just making this up. So on a conventional system, it'll say zone 2. Well, that means you got to go into the cafeteria and the gymnasium and find out which the detector it was in either of those areas. But let's say it's, it happened in the gymnasium, okay? And it will say coach's office M1-22, and that will be a lot easier. You can just go right to it without having, <clears throat> excuse me, to explore any other area. You can just go right to it and fix the problem a lot, lot faster than you would on a conventional system. So we, when we put this on, okay, everything will go back to normal. Uh, so that's basically how that works uh, trouble-wise with IDCs and SLCs. Again, IDC stands for Initiating Device Circuits, and SLC stands for Signaling Line Loop. Oh my gosh, signaling line circuit. Excuse me, I don't know why I keep saying that. <laughs> um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and stay tuned, because the next system test, I hope to have some new devices again. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.